this individual, Caesar, who I consider someone very brave and heroic, smuggled the memory sticks out of the hospital in his shoe, totaling 54,000 images. The location of the murders took place in the photographs that we looked at in uh, military detention units, in three military detention units in and around Damascus. These individuals were brutally tortured. They were starved during the starvation period. They were tortured in medieval ways and then they were executed. I think I will join all here in saying that we know these photographs and information contained in the Caesar report are simply a shock to the conscience. They further underscore the brutality of the Syrian conflict and the immediate need to end the violence. I commend the bravery of those who helped smuggle out these photos as it is further evidence of these ongoing atrocities. I want to thank the survivors that are here today. Your stories are powerful and they are a call to action. I join the people of Syria in their demand for a thorough investigation of egregious mass torture and death. Let's be clear, the record conclusively demonstrates that the Syrian government has committed and continues to commit atrocities. These photos are a smoking gun, as mentioned earlier, and they should be shared with the Independent Commission of Inquiry on Syria for archiving and further investigation. The torture of prisoners is an appalling assault not only on the human lives, but on human dignity and on every standard on which the international community tries to organize itself. We are outraged by the Assad regime's continued detention of tens of thousands of Syrians, including women, children, doctors, humanitarian aid providers, human rights defenders, journalists, and civilians from opposition-controlled areas. As those heartbreaking images reinforce, they continue to be routinely subjected to torture, cruel, inhumane, and degrading treatment and extrajudicial killing. We are all focused on stopping the killing and harm to civilians. We are also focused on accountability and laying the groundwork for ending impunity through support of the UN Commission on Inquiry and other entities such as the S Syria Justice and Accountability Center. The SJAC was established by the US and other countries to coordinate documentation and ongoing crimes committed by all sides of the conflict. The United States continues to urge the parties to allow the International Committee of the Red Cross unfettered access to all detention facilities, including intelligence branches and military bases, where many political prisoners are held and some of the worst torture uh, is taking place. And we remain steadfast in our call that the COI be allowed full access inside Syria to fulfill its mandate. And let me just reiterate what I said on top. This is a very critical meeting, and I commend uh, uh, France, Qatar, um, and Turkey for, for hosting it here today. Thank you.